Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today finally I'm with a new Peugeot 308 2022 version and I'm finally able to see the new multimedia system and the cockpit and I was really excited. I wait for such a long time to see this new multimedia system. In this video we will make the full review with the new multimedia system from Peugeot. Also I will have a separate video where I will show you how to connect the Android Auto with this new multimedia system. Anyway let's go forward guys. I don't want to make this video too long. We will start with the cockpit first of all i want to tell you cockpit it's very similar with the previous version it's a 3d cockpit it looks wonderful to be honest also behind the stalk here you can press this button when you want to change the view you have a few views that you can change from all you have to do is just press this button here on the side so look at this beautiful view you can change between the views right there in the front you can see also how the three-dimensional system work it looks really lovely i don't know if you can see it on the video but in reality it looks much better here you can see the the energy the power the speed uh, also you can change to see a nice a navigation system i don't know why it's not working right now it should work normally it should show up a nice graphic there with the navigation system not sure why it's not working right now but still you can see a lot of information like energy flow here on the right side you can see how many kilometers you can still drive there and you can change also different functions you can see the radio uh, change the different radio views and stuff like that anyway lovely cockpit guys so keep in mind that you have to press this stalk button here behind in order to change the different views right there now let's go to the multimedia because this was really interesting for me first of all you have a few physical buttons down here that get you in different function for example if the climatic system is on and you want to turn it off you don't have to go in the menu go in the menu press the buttons there 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 all you have to do is just go down here and press this button turn it off just like that super simple then you have the frosting buttons shortcuts the uh, air flow inside the car and then you have the climatic system you want to press this button you go directly to the menu of the climatic system and then you have a button that gets you directly to the car settings now extra to this screen beautiful screen uh, you have another screen a small screen down here that you can also customize uh, and change those uh, function here those buttons i should say you can also customize and change it in different position it's very simple guys what i notice is that it's incredible responsive every time you put your finger here it's respond really fast to your touch so it's very very uh, sensitive i should say it's work perfect i think the processor and the power behind this system it's lovely now here's the home screen on the home screen you have three different pages all you have to do is just swipe right and left and you can go in different pages you have a page here this is the last page where you can see uh, the car come with massage on your seats you can change the the different massage function and then you have the passenger of course and then in the middle you have seats option on the seats option you have heated seats and also massage on your seats so from here you can change the different settings then go back if you want to go back this home button act like a, a back button like a reverse button then here you have help where it give you all kind of information uh, if you don't know how to use this multimedia system and then you have application drawer on the application drawer you have a lot of application here and information about the car we start with the settings settings of the car where you can see we start with the first one profile here you have the profile you can make a profile for yourself where you can save your different functions then you have customization here where you have the display customization so you can customize the way you want for example the display so here you can see the power you can see the navigation in the middle you can see the energy flow here you can see all kind of information uh, and you can see every time i change it and also the cockpit is changing also the cruise control and the distance and all this function you can change it and you can see it on the cockpit also you can go to widgets here you can change the different widgets you can add different pages and then if you want to customize the the touch screen you can go here and you can customize it so from here you can choose how you like to have it just like that super simple and then if you go to widgets the same story you can change those widgets let me go back guys down here you have the screen color you can change different colors depend which color you want to have it on your screen for example let me leave it on green right now if you go back you have the uh, yeah 
screen color and if you go down you have the interior color because the car comes with a few interior colors you can see on the doors ambient colors you can change the blue the green the red i don't know if you can see it on the door there you have around 10 colors to choose from guys here so super simple very nice go back uh, then you have the screen color the interior color exterior animation and interior animation lights welcome lights so yeah connectivity also you can connect your different devices i will show you in another video this system here you have all kind of information like languages like date and time kilometer miles celsius fahrenheit reset all the system you go to brightness on the brightness you have also a lot of information about uh, brightness of the screen and also 3d cluster if you want to see in 3d or not 3d you can change it from here i don't know if your eyes can see that but it's really nice sound system here are the sound system where you can go in different function and you can change you can customize the equalizer the speakers the uh, all kind of function about uh, sound you have it right here the radio the volume settings it's very complex i have to tell you a lot of function here uh, to choose from then go to vehicle on the vehicle you have vehicle light here you can change also guide me home light adaptive lights automatic high beam it's very simple and convenient to change those settings here the vehicle access settings and the safety settings here wiper in reverse mirror uh, adaptive in reverse so you can have dimming mirrors when you go in reverse then updates okay the system can do updates as well you can download different updates when you connect it to the internet because these days almost all cars are connected to the internet oh yeah finally we have the navigation on the screen now i'm able to show you and i think you can see that 3d it looks lovely the navigation on this new cockpit looks just phenomenal i mean i love it now go back to home guys here again application drawer again and then here in application drawer we have the energy here on the energy you have all kind of information about the car like energy flow while you're driving you can see a nice graphic right here on the car then you have statistics all the consumption in the last 30 minutes 60 minutes 180 minutes going forward we have the charging on the charging all kind of information about the charging car and e-save you can save your energy uh, for later the battery for later for example going back here also application drawer you have a lot of application the voice command the telephone the mirror screen here you can see your phone then you have the media uh, navigation i'll show you later adas here adas mean all the safety features of the car the car come with panoramic uh, 360 degrees camera you have a gorgeous camera uh, and you can see whatever it's happening around the car you have four uh, cameras around the car here you have also all kind of functions uh, safety functions like rear cross traffic alert lane keeping uh, alert emergency brake a speed limit traffic signs blind spot alert driver alert all that safety feature are here also you have some tutorials videos that will show you how to use those functions going back to home back to application drawer and then here i think i show you almost everything the seats option you already see it guys you have massage and um, heated seats and yeah this is it guys navigation i want to show you from here navigation is much better than what was before and much more responsive i tell you i love this navigation the new one it's much much better and also it's all over the screen it's it's wonderful really really much more responsive it's loading really fast and it show you everything on the map don't want to go too much into detail but keep in mind that it's really really good navigation and you have a lot of information about um, the charging station the tanks the uh, tank station wherever the settings here you already see it now if i go home again this is the home screen go back to another page here you have navigation also information with energy flow and then you have another page here where you can have uh, air conditioning and air quality information and then the last one is the navigation and the radio so yeah i think i cover almost everything guys this is the multimedia system guys if you still have question just ask me down below wherever you want to ask also i will make a separate video with how to connect your android phone or apple phone also you can use a cable or you can use it wireless so that was the video guys Thank you for watching i hope it was useful if you still have questions ask me down below thank you very much stay safe and i guess i see you in the next one bye guys